Do you need some gift ideas for Mother's Day? I was on a support platform just a few days ago, and one of the gals got on there and said, I need ideas for Mother's Day. It might be her last one. So, of course, we all jumped on there and started giving different ideas of gifts that she could give to her mom. And I'm going to share some of those ideas with you. I have got 15, 15 different ideas, and some of them I put on there I had not even thought about years ago when I took care of my mom with dementia. I wish I had, but I'm going to share them with you, and hopefully you can do them with your mom. So here we go. The first thing, Shutterfly. Most of us know that Shutterfly is a place that you can go online and you can send old photos into and they will make different objects out of the photos. They'll make, you know, quilts or they will make collages or you can put a picture on a cup. But this person suggested that she make a quilt out of old photos for her mom. And I thought that was a really good idea because years ago, again, I made my mom a quilt back when I was quilting. And this is the quilt and on the back of it I had put photos. They have long since faded but on the back of it I also wrote a letter and gave it to mom and she could read this. It's like a printed letter that goes on the back of quilts. And when I gave that to mom she said I think I'm going to cry and my mom was not easily given to tears. So an added suggestion to Shutterfly is write a handwritten letter to your mom and have a picture taken of it and that can even be put on a quilt from Shutterfly for your mom and I know she would love that. So that's the first idea. Okay, the second idea is one that someone said just have a favorite meal, ice cream cake, balloons and flowers. And that is always something sweet that you can do for your mom, no matter what time of year it is. Okay, the third thing, and I just loved how this person phrased this one. They said, big hugs and a big, fat, pretty cupcake, and then lots of laughs and smiles. And I loved that, too. I think that's just a sweet idea to do with your mom. Okay, the fourth thing is this. Do something that you will cherish doing with them. And let me just stop and say this before I go any further. Please, don't let any special occasion pass by because you think they won't remember it the next day. I've actually been on platforms where people say, why should I bother because they won't remember it anyway. I heard Tifa Snow one time make the comment about dementia that it is not memory loss. It is brain failure. But that does not mean that they don't have emotions. And that was like, boom, it just changed my whole thought process. Just because they don't have memory recall because this disease has killed part of their brain does not mean they don't know how they feel when you do something special for them. So please keep on loving them and doing special things for them because even if they don't remember it tomorrow, you're going to remember doing it for them and that's going to be a good memory for you to have. Okay, the fifth thing was this, reminisce with old photos, have good food, have music, and you know I'm all about the music because that does wonderful things for your loved one. And then also they threw in pretty flowers and then family. And family and flowers and certain things just kept crossing over. And the more that I saw suggestions, the more it just became apparent what was the most important and valuable things to people. Okay, the sixth thing was this, to have a nice tea party. And I know a lot of people don't even have a teacup and saucer, but I was at TJ Maxx the other day, and they actually had a ton of teacups and saucers. So having a nice tea party, and then they went on to say, with pastries and flowers and treats would be a really sweet thing to do with your mom, too, on Mother's Day. Okay, the seventh thing was this, and I loved this idea. And I felt like I needed to preface what she suggested with this, in case some of y'all don't remember this. Long, long ago, in decades gone by, we used to do what was called writing a letter, and that was taking paper and a pen and writing a letter by hand and mailing it to someone. This was such a good idea, and it was such a good reminder to me that we should still, in this day and time, take the time to write handwritten notes to our loved ones because I've got a stack of letters that my dad and mom sent me when I was in college, and I love taking those out and reading them. And you don't do that with emails. You don't do that with text. She went on to say this, to write a heartfelt letter and to tuck it into a beautiful card. And I love, love, love that idea. A handwritten letter in a card, and your mom will love that. Okay, the eighth thing. And when I read this, I thought, wow, these are just wise words. This particular person said, 
to just take time together to sit and eat. And she said it doesn't even matter if it's frozen food because you is probably what they want the most. And I thought, that's it. That That is so true. You are what your loved one wants the most. So just being with them, you're going to be granting them a very special gift. Okay, the ninth thing. This is something I saw done years ago, and I wish I had done this with my mom, but I just didn't think about it at the time. And I hope that you do this. I hope that every one of you that watches this will do this with your mom. This gal's mom was elderly and having to move out of her home. So before she moved out of the home, and this was also a childhood home that this girl had grown up in, she hired a professional photographer to come in and do a photo shoot. And it was just absolutely stunning to see the photos that this photographer took of this girl and her mom. And they weren't just all posed pictures. They were just doing things around the home. They were just lovely pictures of them laughing together and just being together in this home that was such a special place. And I love, love, love that idea. Please, if you can do that, just have somebody to come in and take some sweet pictures of you and your mom. You will cherish those for generations to come. And I call those heritage pictures because that tells a story that continues to tell a story of your family. So just put that on your list of something that you might want to do for your mom. And that goes along with number 10, actually. This person suggested just having quality family time by going on a picnic somewhere, like in a park, with your mom. And you could even take a professional photographer there, and they could do the same thing at a park. So that was number 10, to do a picnic in the park. Okay, the 11th thing. I thought this was a super cute idea. And now I'm looking for, I've taken, here we go. Okay, these little bags. These little zip bags like this, and we all get them like with cosmetics and different things like this. Or you can just buy zipper bags. But this gal said she went and bought her mom a new purse and took seven little zippered bags. And she filled each one of them like with lipsticks and just different things. Trinkets, you know, you could put candy in them or cosmetics, whatever it is that your mom loves. And she filled seven bags full, stuffed them in the pocketbook. And she knew her mom would love plundering through that pocketbook and playing with everything and opening the zippers up. I thought that was a really superb idea. I love that idea too. Okay, the 12th thing, tell your mom that you love her and tell her again that you love her. I thought that was a wonderful suggestion because this caregiver apparently realizes that when we're rushing around and we're trying to take care of everything that is involved in taking care of a dementia loved one, we tend to forget to even stop and say, I love you. So you look your mom in the eye and you say, I love you, mom. Thank you for everything that you've ever done for me. And just have that conversation with her. I did that with my mom one time, and she just soaked that in. And I could tell when I just went on to explain what she meant to me. And even though they may have dementia, they know those words and how they feel in that moment. So please make sure you tell your mom, I love you, mom, on Mother's Day. Okay, the 13th thing is a musical church. And I thought this was a great idea, especially if your mom is a woman of faith and loves old hymns. This church plays music for like over an hour and it's only got two buttons on it. So it's called like a simple musical church. It's got a volume button and it's got a button that you push and that turns the church off and on. And it plays things like Rock of Ages or How Great Thou Art. So some of y'all have never even had the privilege of hearing old hymns like that in this generation. I grew up in hymns like that. So I know I would love something like that. And your mom may love that too. So check into that. And also, 13 is something that's on Amazon, and this 14th you can get on Amazon also. It's called a Twiddle Activity Muff, and it's so super cute. It's like got a little head of an animal on it, but it's got ribbons on it, or it's got beads on it, because your mom, if she's one that likes to fidget a lot, that's what this is. It's like a muff that has a lot of things inside of it and on the outside. And if you don't know what a muff is, it's because you're not from up north, because I grew up having muffs on my hands because I was born in Canada. So this is a really cute idea to get for your mom for Mother's Day also. And any of these things that I'm listing here that are on Amazon, I am an affiliate. If you go through my link, I do receive a small commission. Okay, the 15th thing is what's called a Luna Bean Hand Casting Kit. 
and I think that is one of the coolest things I have seen. It's where you put your hand and your mom's hand down into whatever the casting kit mold is made out of, and it molds the hands, and you have a sculpture of your hands together. I think this is so neat. I hope that somebody does this and comes back to this video and posts a picture of it on this video because I think that's a neat idea. They have two sizes in it, by the way. There's a couple size, which is like just two hands would fit in it, and then there's an extra large, and it's for like a family size. Like you can get like two adult hands and maybe two or three children's hands in that because honestly not just for mother's day but you could do that if you wanted to do that with your mom and her grandchildren i think that'd be a cool thing to do together too happy mother's day to you and your mom thank you for taking care of her god bless you stay true bye <music>